If you like sweet potato, if you like cornbread. <laughs> Greetings, salutations, good people. My name is Otis James Bush Jr. This is OJB Cooking. So sometimes two unlikely things come together to make something amazing. At the top of that list, sweet potato, cornbread. You go eat your cornbread. That's right, today we're hooking up another viral hood trend that you gotta try. So what we going to do? We got some flour, got cornmeal, butter, eggs, sugar, sweet potatoes, of course. Got some baking powder, baking soda, salt, honey, and a few other things that we'll get into once we get into the video. I'll also have it all down in the description box, as always. And that's it, man. We're going to take all this, hook it on up, make it do what it do, baby. Come on with me. All right, good people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, the first thing we'll do is go ahead and rinse and dry our sweet potatoes and then poke some holes in them and get them ready to bake. We're going to bake these at 400 degrees for about an hour. Um, next, you may want to go about an hour and 10. These weren't as tender as I wanted them to be, uh, but you know, it still worked out. Next, we got a cup of all purpose flour going into the bowl, just like that. We got some yellow cornmeal. We're going to use a cup and a half of that, just like that. There you go. Got some salt, salt out. And I had a measurements down in the description box for y'all. We got some uh, baking powder and some baking soda going in as well. So we'll take that on, whisk it on up. I actually forgot to add some sugar, so you're going to see me double back to get that sugar up in there in just a second. Just like that. And then whisk that in. And now we got our sweet potatoes out of the oven. And we just going to peel all the skin off. I actually took a knife and trimmed a little bit of the, the roughness off as well. And uh, as you can see, it just wasn't quite as tender as I wanted them to be, but you know, we worked it out. Put a little form in it, leaned in it, you know what I mean? Just like that. Yeah, now we get it. Now we get it. Yeah, yeah. Check for the strings. Got a couple strings. So I spent the block a few more times in rinsing um, my mixer uh, blades in between just to get the strings out. Alright, we got a stick of butter going in, soften to room temperature, of course. Mix that up, just like that. Just like that. While you're here, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all, man. Help you boy out with that good old algorithm, man. Right? Yeah, go ahead and spin the block a few more times, just like so. And then we got a cup of sugar going in. Get that up in there. Ready to get to know each other. Introduce it to the crew. All right, we got some vanilla extract going in. A couple of tablespoons, I mean teaspoons, rather. Got some cinnamon. Got some nutmeg. And again, I had the measurements down in the description box for y'all. Yeah. Now we get how we getting now. Clean up your sides, make sure you don't get everything mixed in thoroughly. Got some buttermilk going in. Now, you know, typically if I'm making sweet potato pie, so I'm, I'm using, uh, you know, uh, condensed milk. Uh, but, you know, for this, since we're making a cornbread, switch it up to the buttermilk, you feel me? Just like that. You want to get this mixed up nice and good. And then lastly, after you taste it and made sure everything was, you know, appropriate, you want to go ahead and add your eggs. And uh, I was going to add these one at a time, but they're kind of small eggs, so I went ahead and added them, them second two together. Didn't seem to hurt nothing. that nice and mixed up just like that and this is about the consistency one now we're gonna take our dry and dump it into the wet now if I was doing this again you know I would probably take out a third bowl and I would probably get a more even mixture of the wet and the dry uh, you know it came out fine but you know it was you know very moist you know what I mean and very almost like a dessert you know what I mean I really would want it to be more like a side dish so as good as this came out 
I probably would adjust my ratio of wet to dry. Basically sweet potato to cornbread mixture. And then we got a nine by nine pan. I grease that up, you know what I mean? And then we just gonna go ahead and dump this in just like so. Now I didn't use all of this batter cause you know, it was a lot, uh, you know, but I just wanted to make enough to, you know, fill up the pan and then give it enough room to rise up. You feel me? <laughs> rise up. And then we gonna bake this here at 350 degrees. Uh, baked it for about 45 or 50 minutes. Uh, just depends on your oven and you know, the consistency. But you just wanna make sure that the center is done. And look how beautiful that is, boy, yeah. Yeah, we in the game, people. Put that at the oven, like so. Check it out. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, look at that texture. That is amazing. Go cut right into it while it's nice and warm. I let it cool for a bit, about 30 minutes, and then came on back with the knife, you feel me? Let it go into surgery. Feel me? And then get a look at this. Get a look at this boy. Yeah. Gotta put the light on it for you. Go we'll add a little melted butter. I went ahead and uh, omitted the honey. I was gonna put some honey on it, but this was already super sweet and super dessert like, so I cut the honey out and just put some straight butter. And now we in the game, baby. Yeah, look how beautiful that is. Ooh, ooh. Hey man, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. This right here went hard in the game. Uh, I would make slight adjustments, but I also would make it like this again if I was looking for something more, you know, dessert-like. And I know you want a bite. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right, good people. Moment of truth. Time to test it out. See what it do. Oh, yeah. That's really good. That is extremely good. If you like sweet potato, if you like cornbread, we're gonna do one more bite for the room.